In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 3, No Calculator, Questions 19 and 20, the last two grid ends. Problem 19, the graph of a line in the xy plane passes through the point 1, 4 and crosses the x-axis at a point 2, 0. The line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, b. What's the value of b? So we have two points on a line. This is obviously a linear equation, and we want to get where it crosses the y-axis. And so this, if it's x on the zero, this really is gonna tell us the y-intercept. And this is pretty common, this type of question. You just have to work efficiently. How do we create the equation here to get the y-intercept? Well, we have two points on a line, we can just simply use the slope formula. So one, four, and two, zero. So it's the change in y over the change in x. So four minus zero over one minus two. This will give us the slope, which is four over negative one. The slope is negative four. So if we were to start our equation, we'd get y equals negative four times x plus b. Remember, we need b, we need the y-intercept. How do we get the rest of the equation, the y-intercept? And the real advantage when you're given points is we know that any time you're given a point that lies on a line or a function, it satisfies the equation. And so all you have to do is plug in either point will work and then you could get B. So I'm just gonna plug this one in, this two zero. So for Y we're plugging in zero equals negative four times two plus B. And so we get zero equals negative eight plus b. We subtract or add eight to both sides, we get b is eight. And that's the answer, b is eight, that's the y-intercept. So this value is eight, that's the y-intercept. All right, last question number 20. Here we have this equation, it can be written in the form ay squared plus b, where a and b are constants, what's a plus b? So I'm gonna do it up here. So this, I'm just gonna rewrite, we have seven, five, three, two, plus 100y squared, plus, we're gonna distribute this 10, we get 100y squared minus, so 10 times negative 110, you just add a zero, we get one, one, zero, zero. Now we just have to combine the terms and we wanna get it into this form, ay squared plus b, we wanna get a plus b. And so let's start, we've got two of these 100y squared, so we're gonna end up with 200y squared. And 7532 minus 1100, just be careful in your arithmetic. So minus 1000 would be 6532 minus 1100, it's gonna be plus 6432. So just make sure you do it correctly. So now we're in this form, ay squared plus b, our A is 200, and our B is this whole value. So 200 plus 6, 4, 3, 2. The answer is 6, 6, 3, 2.